Okay, so you will all no doubt be aware that Rory McIlroy just won yet again. Uh, and I say yet again, it's been a while since he's been in that winner's circle, so great to see him back on form. Interesting bag this week that he had, and a few changes, and I just wonder how much difference that has made uh, overall in his performance. Certainly helped down the uh, with the short stick. His putting was much improved, the change in putter, we'll get to that shortly. But I thought I'd do a video, just a little bit different, a little bit of wind outside I'm afraid this morning so you can hear the uh, shutters banging around a little bit I thought I'd do a video just a little bit different we'll take a look at exactly what was in Rory's bag yesterday because uh, like I said there were a few changes a few tweaks he's literally playing tailor-made right throughout the bag even into the ball as well he's playing the TP5X but behind me I set up really what he's got from uh, driver through to unfortunately can't get anything on the putter the prototype is very much uh, Rory's own but I'll throw some photographs up of that later so he's using the M3 460cc head but there was a change this week in the shaft that he had it's a tensai uh, shaft again comes as pretty much a standard option but for the likes of maybe the average golfers maybe the uh, the blue shaft would be more appropriate He's got an orange shaft in it and the difference is, uh, well first of all the weight, he's got the extra stiff version of that shaft as you can imagine. It certainly worked for him and in the driving he really performed quite well indeed. Interesting that he's got two fairways in the bag yesterday. Um, three and the five, both the M3. In this however he does have um, the shaft that he's been using for a while which is the white shaft again in the extra stiff slightly certainly heavy for me anyway 80 gram shaft in the three and the five wood um, and again I don't know in terms of how it's set up in terms of loft but I assume pretty much uh, standard there then you move into the irons we've seen the irons for quite some time ever since that he uh, he signed for TaylorMade he's had the Raws prototype but effectively it's where this sort of P730 came from Let's even get that one in focus there. Absolutely stunning set of irons. Um, full video review of these by the average golfer. And I have to say, as scary as they look and as small as they look, absolutely stunning golf um, set of golf irons to play. Really nice things. And whatever slight tweaks that Rory might have made, effectively, it's built around this uh, P730. Slight change in longer iron he's got in the four iron he plays the p750 now p750 so we get that one into focus again i really like these clubs i've been playing with uh, a mix of the p770s and my own mp5s for quite some time but p770s are slightly bigger version of this but yeah rory uh, chooses to play the four iron in this p750 so just that one club four iron in that different uh, head type and again still a forged club slightly bigger profile it's more of a suppose not a lot of it but a little bit of cavity in there and interesting that um, Rory goes to that into the four iron and then I've even brought the ball out it's the TP5 but it's a TP5X and again uh, plenty of videos out there from uh, the average golfer on ball testing but the TP5 come out extremely well it's the ball that I test with every week it's extremely reliable the TP5X again for, I would suggest maybe the uh, quicker swing speed so uh, not one that I use but again that's the ball that Rory hold quite a few putts with but what did he use to hold them putts with in terms of the uh, flat stick well it was a it was a new putter um, and again it's a prototype uh, it's one of the TP mill faces I'll throw a picture of that one now yeah so that is the, what you're looking at there it's a TP collection copper solo prototype putter i can't get any close-ups of it at all to be honest with you um so that's as good as you're going to get for the time being he's also using and i don't have those in to show you is the high toe wedges the um uh, new from uh, taylor made also so he had let's have a look we throw a picture up and he's got 48 52 58 and 60 degree wedge all with true temper um the project x7 um, so that's extra stiff shaft and that's the shaft also that he plays with his irons as well so so there you have it there's rory's bag interesting point for me was that he'd made a couple of changes uh, we're all us golfers we like a bit of a tweak and a bit of a change 
but when you see some good results and obviously Rory did yesterday and I often feel what's the big thing is it is it the tweak and the change that's helped you in terms of the shots in terms of from the clubs or is it just you started a few good shots and that attitude that mental attitude becomes more positive and all of the things all of a sudden things start going your way who knows but it doesn't make any difference the important thing is it gives you that confidence you start to play well and as Rory's done yesterday uh, absolute fantastic performance on that final day well done to Rory bit of an interesting one a um, little bit different but as Taylor made sent me the references as to what he played I was interested in just those little few tweaks that he's made little bit of differences and could have made uh, a major change right in time before the Masters uh, in a few weeks time anyway little different one from the average golfer this week plenty more to come uh tuesday wednesday thursday got a lot of interesting videos this week so stick around thumbs up uh subscribe if you don't already and uh, comments down below what do you think of rory's bag how similar is it to yours